Well, people gathered in Saudi Daisy to team up and take out the trash early this morning. Today was one of the first of many cleanup events. Channel 3's Angela Kim was there and she has more. When walking or driving down Sequoia Access Road, at first glance, you just see a lot of green, a lot of shrubberies, and a lot of trees. But if you look a little deeper down into the grass, you'll also see a lot of trash. And one couple created a new initiative to help take care of the problem. For Julie Bear, staying at home or sleeping in on a Saturday is not a top priority. Instead, she grabbed her gloves, vest, and trash bag and got to work. There's a point where you can look at all of this and say it's a problem, or there's a point where you say, you know, it's time for me to get involved. Bear and other Saudi Daisy residents explored areas by Sequoia High School, which they say is only a small part of a massive trash problem in the area. I think the city is great, but it is a little bit embarrassing when people come to our town and they say to me, you know, what's up with the trash? Cindy Sandin helped found this event and the organization keep Saudi Daisy beautiful with her husband Nate. We uh, found some other people that had been cleaning up around the area and started organizing and having these community cleanups so we could get the area cleaned up. She says her main priority is getting trash cleaned up. I think it's been about like 170 bags of trash. Well, getting the community to care about the problem. Today we just want to, you know, help get the community involved and let them know that they can, you know, make their city um, beautiful. Bear says having a cleaner city means having a more successful city and thinks solving this trash problem could open a lot of doors for Saudi Daisy. It attracts more tourism, it attracts more industry, and I think it's just personal pride. I think people just to ha need to have personal pride in the place that they live. She hopes people channel that pride into helping pick up trash piece by piece. At the end, it's very gratifying to look back and see all of that picked up and you think to yourself, hey, I've really accomplished something. Organizers plan to host cleanup events like these at least once a month and you can follow for updates on events on their Facebook page or on their website and we'll have that link inside our WRCB app. Reporting in Saudi Daisy, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.